Hello my scholars, you are welcome to my school channel and my name is Frank. In this lesson video, we are going to be answering JAB CBT past question for biology year 2023. Please stay with us, do not go anywhere and we will be right back. Welcome back to my school channel. So we are going to be answering question 1 to 20. So let's begin with question 1. Which of the following is an example of a microorganism in action as a disease vector? So A, we have fungi decomposing dead plant material. B, mosquito transmitting malaria. C, bacteria causing food poisoning. And D, algae producing oxygen through photosynthesis. So the answer to this question is option B, mosquito transmitting malaria. We know that mosquito is a vector, and a vector is an organism that carries pathogen from one host to another. So when an infected mosquito bites a healthy person, the mosquito actually transfers its saliva, okay, containing the uh, plasmodium parasite into the person's bloodstream, thus leading to the transmission of the disease. So option B is the correct option. Question two, which of the following is a characteristic of cells related to irritability? A, ability to respond to stimulus. B, ability to synthesize proteins. C, ability to generate energy. And D, ability to replicate DNA. So the answer to this question is option A. Okay, so we define irritability as the ability of cells to detect and respond to various stimulus or changes in the environment. Okay, so that makes option A the correct answer to this question, ability to respond to stimulus. Question three, the membrane around the vacuum is known as dash, a helioplast. So helioplast is a type of plastid, okay, that uh, synthesizes and uh, store lipids in plant cells. Okay, so option A is not the answer, while option B Ameloplast is also a type of plastic. Okay, but this type of plastic, what it does is that uh, primarily it synthesizes and uh, stores starch granules. Okay, in plant cells. Okay, why option C tonoplast? Tonoplast is the membrane around the vacuum. Okay, the tonoplast actually separates the content of the vacuum from the cell's cytoplasm. Okay, and it is also known as vacuola membrane. Okay, so the answer to this question is option C. Okay, why option D here, uh, cytoplast? Cytoplast is just referring to a cell, okay, that the nucleus has been removed. So option C is our correct option. Question four, which of the following is evidence of evolution? A, all of the above. B, similarities in embryonic development. C, fossils of extinct organisms. D, homologous structures in different species. Okay, so the answer to this question is option A. Okay, because all the rest option from B to D, they all support the fact that um, organism has evolved and changed over time. So that makes option A the correct option. Question five, which of the following is an example of an adaptation for survival in social essence? A, migration to warmer climate. B, production of venom for defense. C, formation of complex caste system. D, hibernation during winter months. So the answer to this question is option C, formation of complex caste system. Social essence like B, okay, and ETC form complex caste system. This system allows for division of labor within the colony, where different individuals specializing in different various tasks, such as foraging, reproduction, caring for the young one, and defense. This division of labor enhances effectiveness and efficiency within the colony, promoting survival and reproductive success. So option C is the correct option. Question six, which of the following is not a part of the alimentary canal? So we know that alimentary canal is a long tube, okay, that extends from the mouth to the anus. And part of the alimentary canals include the esophagus, the mouth, the uh, stomach, 
the large and small intestine. So let's run through our uh, options to pick the correct answer. So A, we have esophagus. Esophagus is part of the elementary canal. B, we have large intestine, also known as colon. It's also part of the elementary canal. Y, C, we have liver. Liver is not part of the elementary canal. Y, D, we also have small intestine, okay, which is part of the elementary canal. So the answer to this question is option C, liver. Liver is not part of the elementary canal. Instead, liver is one of the excretory organs in the body okay, that secretes bile. So the answer to this question is option C. Question 7. Which of the following is an evolutionary trend commonly observed in organisms? A. We have decreased complexity over time. B. Increased dependence on external resources. C. Increased genetic diversity within population. D. Decreased adaptation to the environment. So evolutionary trends are changes okay, that occur within a population or species over time. Okay, and some of the changes that occurs okay, within a population over time, okay, I mean population of organism over time are, one of them is adaptation to the environment, one of them is decrease in vestigial structure, one of them is increase in size, then the other one is increase in genetic diversity. Okay, and we also have specialization and diversification. Okay, so from all I have listed, um, one of the evolutionary traits commonly observed in organism is option C, which is increased genetic diversity within population. So that makes option C the correct option. Do you know that you can take practice question with our jam simulated CBT pass question? All you need to do is to click on the link in the description below. And this will take you to my school website. There you have to download my school mobile app for your Android devices and my school software for your laptops and computer. Please go ahead and start practicing. Moving on to question 8. Which of the following is a characteristic feature of the kingdom plantae? A. Presence of chloroplast. B. Ability to perform photosynthesis. C. Lack of cell walls. D. Heterotrophic mode of nutrition. So option D is not the correct option because plants are known to be uh, autotrophs. So option C, lack of cell walls. Plants have cell walls. So option C is not the correct option. Why option B, ability to perform photosynthesis. Why option A, we have presence of chloroplast. Okay, so a common characteristic feature of the kingdom plantae is option A, presence of chloroplast. We know that chloroplasts are the site of photosynthesis in plant cells. Okay, where light energy are converted to chemical energies okay so but there are some organisms that have um, chloroplasts that does not mean that they belong to the plant kingdom okay but the presence of chloroplasts is a characteristic of the plant kingdom okay so that's why option a is the correct option i believe you are enjoying this content if yes please do not forget to hit the like button click on the subscribe button and lastly tap on the notification bell to get informed as soon as we release the next videos Question 9. A biome characterized by hot summer, warm winter, and treeless vegetation is A. Steppe grassland, B. Temperate desert, C. Savannah grassland, and D. Tropical desert. Okay, so the answer to this question is option A. Steppe grassland. Okay, what is described in this question is a typical of option A. Steppe grassland. So a steppe grassland is characterized by grassy plain, wheat, or without tree except those close to rivers and lake. The summers can be hot with temperature of about 40 degrees or more, but the winters are usually cold with temperature falling below freezing point. So that makes option A the correct option, step grassland. Question 10. Which of the following is an example of physiological variation in organisms? A. Variation in blood pressure among individuals. B. Variation in back shape among finches. C. Differences in four color in rabbits. D. Variation in leaf shapes in plant. So the answer to this question is option A. Variation in blood pressure among individuals. So we define physiological variation as differences in the functioning or processes among individuals within a species. Okay, so in the case of the chosen answer, which is blood pressure, it is a physiological function of the cardiovascular system among individuals, such as differences in heart rate, 
blood vessel elasticity or blood volume okay this variation in function is primarily influenced by genetic factors lifestyle diet and overall health status so that makes option a the correct answer to this question variation in blood pressure among individuals question 11 which of the following are components of the skeletal system in humans so a we have cartilage and blood vessels b we have ligaments and tendons C, we have muscles and nerves, and D, we have bones and joints. Okay, so the answer to this question is option D. Okay, the skeletal system in, in human is primarily made up of bones and joints. Okay, that makes option D the correct option, bones and joints. Okay, but for option B, ligaments and tendons, we know that ligaments connect joints to joint. Okay, and tendons connect bones to muscles. Okay, but the answer to this question is option D bones and joints question 12 which of the following represents an example of ecological management and conservation through a biological association so first of all let's explain the meaning of ecological management and conservation so ecological management and conservation we simply referring to uh, strategies or it involves strategies and the practices okay aim at preserving and protecting natural ecosystem and biodiversity okay so option a will have construction of a dam for hydroelectric power b introduction of an invasive species for pest control c we have clear cutting of a forest for timber extraction d we have establishment of marine protected area okay so the answer to this question is option d okay establishment of marine protected area is an example of ecological practices and conservation through a biological association okay so that make option d the correct option to this question question 13 the term cell was given by Dash A. Robert Hooke, B. Squan, D. Dabari, and D. Tanton. Okay, so the answer to this question is A. Robert Hooke. So Robert Hooke is an English scientist who, in 1665, okay, coined the term cell when he observed a thin slice or a thin section of cork under a microscope. And he discovered that what he saw under the microscope resembled the cells in a monastery. Hence, the word cell. So the answer to this question is option A, Robert Hooke. Question 14. Which of the following is the primary organ involved in gas exchange during respiration in human? So A, we have diaphragm. B, we have bronchi. C, we have lungs. And D, we have trachea. Okay, so the answer to this question is C. Okay, lungs. So lungs is a pair of respiratory organs located in the chest cavity, okay? And they are responsible, okay, for the exchange or for the gaseous exchange in humans. Okay, so that makes option C the correct answer. Question 15. Which gland is responsible for producing the hormone insulin? A, we have thyroid gland. So thyroid gland produces um, the hormone called tyrosine. Okay, why B, we have pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is referred to as master gland in the sense that it controls the function or activities of other endocrine glands. Okay, why C, we have pancreas. Okay, so pancreas is a gland that is located in the abdomen. Okay, and it serves two functions, digestive and endocrine function. Okay, and it is the gland that is responsible for producing insulin. Okay, insulin is an hormone that controls the sugar level in the blood okay why uh, option d is adrenal gland adrenal gland produces a hormone called adrenaline also known as the flight hormone okay so the answer to this question is option c the pancreas so it's the pancreas that's responsible for producing the hormone called insulin which controls the sugar level in the blood okay so option c is the correct option question 16 most fishes do not sink in water because of the presence of I, swim bladder, I, I, air bladder, I, 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 air sacs, IV, air in spongy bones. Okay, so the answer to this question is option B. Okay, fishes possess swim bladder. Okay, and another word for swim bladder is also known as air bladder, not air sac. Okay, air sac is found in the human lung. Okay, also known as alveoli, A-L-V-E-O-L-I. 
okay so the answer to this question is option b i and i i literally means the same thing so fishes have swim bladders or air bladders which helps them to maintain buoyant and not sink in water okay and this swim bladder or air bladder is found in the body cavity okay so that makes option b the correct option do you have any question please feel free to ask your question by clicking on the link in the description below and this will take you to my school website there we have armies of solution providers who will attend to all your questions within a short period of time moving on to question 17 in monohybrid inheritance if an organism carries two different alleles for a particular gene it is called a homozygous b dominant c heterozygous and d recessive okay so the answer to this question is heterozygous so we have an heterozygous individual or heterozygous organism if the organism carries two alleles for a particular gene okay of course one of the alleles can be dormant while the other one recessive okay while option a is homozygous so if we are talking about homozygous we are talking about an organism that carry two similar alleles okay for a particular gene so that makes option c the correct option do you have better explanation or steps to any of this question please go to the comment section below and indicate the question number and the solution you wish to share question 18 what is the tissue responsible for transporting water and minerals from the roots to the rest of the plant a we have xylem b we have epidermis c we have parenchyma and d we have phlegm okay so the answer to this question is xylem so xylem is the tissue responsible for transporting water and minerals from the root to the rest of the plant so xylem is a complex tissue that is composed of specialized cells such as vessel elements triceps okay which forms long interconnected tubes so this long interconnected tube facilitate the upward movement of water minerals okay from the root to the rest part of the plant okay now xylem also provides mechanical support to plants okay so let's explain option b option b is epidermis which is the outermost layer of the human skin okay why d here which is phlegm does the opposite of what xylem does okay what it does is that it carries sugar protein and other organic molecules from the leaf okay to other parts of the plant so that makes option a the correct answer xylem question 19 which of the following is an example of an abiotic ecological factor a we have temperature b we have competition c we have predation and d we have symbiosis okay so in biology when we say abiotic we are referring to non-living okay so this question is about non-living ecological factor or non-living factor that affects the ecosystem okay and a good example of uh, of an abiotic ecological factor in the option provided here is option a why the rest one from option b to option d they are all biotic ecological factor okay so that makes option a the correct option the only example of abiotic ecological factor listed here so option a is the correct option question 20 which of the following processes is involved in the reproduction of developing organism a we have budding so body simply means the formation of an art growth okay for an organism so that is not the answer b we have germination germination simply refers to the sprouting of a dominant seed okay so that is not the answer why option c we have fertilization so fertilization is the process involving the union of the male and female garment to produce a zygote okay so the answer to this question is fertilization because the process of fertilization actually initiates the uh, production of new organisms why option d um, pollination which is the transfer of pollen grain from the anther to the stigma of a flower okay so the answer to this question is option c fertilization i believe you are enjoying this content if yes please do not forget to hit the like button click on the subscribe button and lastly tap on the notification bell to get informed as soon as we release the next videos